been doing a lot of cleaning between these videos and I was thinking you know what I really should have a dessert it's been a long time since I had a dessert well let me show you a lot of you know that I like to can and my very favorite thing I learned to can last year was strawberry pie filling yes my friends strawberry pie filling it is absolutely the best thing I have ever canned and I'm gonna share with you today a strawberry pie when it's not even in season I took the strawberries in season and I made the strawberry pie filling strawberry pie filling I cleaned out my freezer and I found this crust now it's been in the freezer a while but I'm sure it's fine and we're gonna use it because these days we really can't go to the grocery store if you guys want to know how to make pie crust. I did a video on that two weeks ago from scratch. I will share that video at the end of this one too because I shared with you my mom's way of making apple dumplings which it is a pie crust recipe. So let me show you what the strawberry filling looks like. It's so amazing. You could just eat it right out of the jar. I want a lot more strawberries that it's in in this pie filling. Oh, it's so good. So I did have some strawberries here that I want to get used up. Now you don't have to use fresh at all. You can use just the pie filling. But I'm going to add some more to it. I make a lot of pie filling. And I can't wait this year to make more. I hope I can get strawberries. I used to grow strawberries and then the deer kept eating them. So. I don't have strawberries right now on the homestead. Yes, I did wash these strawberries before I put them in here. So we're going to just add a couple of the fresh ones to it, which we really don't have to, but it does make it nice. You can also just make the pie filling without the strawberries in it. And then, of course, you can add your own strawberries. But I love having the pie filling with the strawberries in it. They stay so nice and it looks beautiful. We'll just add a couple more. That my friends is what it looks like. Now we're going to put these in the fridge We don't bake it with the strawberries. All we're going to do is bake the pie crust. We're going to bake it about 375 until it's golden brown, about 15 minutes. You really want to watch it and as soon as it gets brown you pull it out. Then all we have to do is let this cool add the strawberries, add some whipped topping, and we're done. How easy is that? Even in the dead of winter, you can have strawberry pie. Oh, the number one thing I love to can, and it's the number one thing I learned to can last year. Well, everyone, we got done eating, and here's the pie. Now, the pie crust isn't perfect, and that's okay, because we're going to be hiding it. So this is cold. The pie crust was baked, and it's all done, and it's cool. So we're just going to make our strawberry pie. It only takes a few minutes because of the home canned pie filling. Take a look at that. Now I could make it a little bit fuller. I could have. But it looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it and we'll see. Mm. Put it on the top. And there you go my friends. It's strawberry pie. Yum yum. Take a look at my video right at the end of this and I'll show you how you can make your own strawberry pie filling water bath method so you can make it no matter where you live or what you have in your kitchen. All you have to do is preserve it in boiling water in a jar. See you guys tomorrow and a big mwah! Bye everybody! Hey everyone, today I am going to make strawberry pie filling to can. I was really blessed to be able to get a bunch of strawberries for 99 cents a pound. And we are going to can them and use it for strawberry pie filling. Now you can also use it for strawberry and rhubarb pie filling, but today I'm just going to make the plain pie filling with strawberries. Let's get started and I'll show you how we make it. recipe calls for four quarts of rhubarb and four quarts of strawberries. Since I'm only using strawberries, I have eight quarts of strawberries. To that we have seven cups of water. So, 
So we have, for me, I have eight quarts of strawberries that are cut and they are cleaned. To our kettle, we are going to add seven cups of water and six cups of sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and add the sugar. So we'll have six cups of sugar to seven cups of water. Now we're going to add three fourths cups of lemon juice. And I use the lemon juice that I canned that you seen in the video last week. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to heat this up. Now we're going to add our thickener. Make the mistake when they add the thickener, they add it to a hot liquid. That's going to cause lumps. You always add your thickener to it cold. So it calls for two and one fourth cups of clear gel. Do not use any cornstarch. Cornstarch will not heat up right. It will congeal and it will get lumpy and it will not stand the canning temperatures. So we're going to go with two and one fourth cups of clear gel. So what I'm going to do is one cup at a time, we're going to whisk it until it is smooth. So we don't dump it all in at one time. And I do not like using red food coloring, in fact I never use red food coloring. But in order to make this very pretty and also to have an appetizing color, a little bit of red food coloring is what you're going to need. This just keeps it nice colored on the shelf. You want to add your food coloring to your liquid before you add your strawberries. So we're going to go with a little bit and we're going to see what that color looks like. Okay, I think that is perfect color. All right, perfect color. Now we're going to bring this to a boil, and when it starts thickening, then we will add our strawberries, and then we can can it. All right, so it's good and thick. It's just about finished. So now we're going to go ahead, and we're going to add our strawberries to it. And we're going to go ahead and give a little stir. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a little stir, and it is finished, it looks great. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to can it. I'm canning mine in pints because we like making little pies, the little uh, 6 inch or 8 inch pies, so I am going to can it in pints. Family, you can can it in quarts. So this by far is the best thing that I have ever canned. The strawberry pie filling is amazing. Take a look at the color. And let me tell you, I already opened one of them up because I really wanted to try it. Look at this. Take a look at that. It is absolutely amazing. If you ever want to try something that I've canned and that I made, try this strawberry pie filling. Also, I made some blackberry pie filling. This I'll use for cobblers and for pies. I use small jars because I have a small household. I hope you give it a try because it's a good one. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I also want to give a special thank you. Thank you, everyone, for enjoying these videos of me cooking low-budget, low-cost food. It really makes my heart glad to see that so many people are viewing this these kind of videos and that you're enjoying it. So, stay tuned because we have a whole bunch more uh, cooking videos coming your way. Cooking Homestead Tessie style. 
See you guys tomorrow and a big bye everybody.